Windows System Restore. This is probably one of the most commented topics I get on this channel. And honestly, I have no idea why. So let's dive into it. So first, what is System Restore? System Restore is a Windows utility that is designed to protect and revert your existing Windows operating system back to a previously good state. Okay, sounds great. Glad I have that on my computer. But wait, Microsoft leaves that disabled by default. You actually have to enable this feature manually in order to get any benefit from it. Why? I have no idea why Microsoft would leave it disabled, but it is. So we need to turn it on and create a restore point. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. But first, you should know all the pros and cons about using System Restore on your Windows PC. So first, when should you create a restore point? Usually, these restore points are created anytime you install a new app or update a driver or install Windows updates. Why? Well, sometimes there's compatibility issues with programs you install or a driver or a Windows update. I'm sure just about every one of you has had an issue at some point installing a Windows update and then suddenly your computer doesn't want to boot again. This is why System Restore was created. Now, some of these compatibility issues are really no big deal and they don't cause any major problems. Sometimes these issues do cause big enough problems to keep your Windows PC from booting properly. You might get a blue screen of death or you might get into a boot loop where your computer starts and tries to load Windows and then just restarts. Situations like this are exactly what System Restore was originally designed for. And although once you've enabled it, Windows does create restore points automatically, but I think creating manual restore points every so often is a good best practice to get into. Why? Well, Windows. So what does System Restore do exactly? Well, this is actually quite a complicated process behind the curtain. So I'm gonna to try to make this simple for you. So System Restore basically pulls all the necessary files, registry keys, and Windows system settings from the last saved restore point, and then overwrites your non-working system with these backed up system settings. And then basically uses that to restore your PC back to health. I'm sure you're all familiar with the undo option in pretty much every program you've ever used. This is basically a big undo on a much bigger scale. And again, this is why creating restore points before applying large updates or installing apps or drivers that you're not 100% sure about is still a good idea, even though Windows is supposedly creating restore points in the background. System Restore will also likely remove apps or programs that you have installed since your last restore point. So if you have an app or program that you care about, make sure you create a manual restore point after you've installed that program and your system is working properly. Otherwise, you might have to download and install that program again which depending on the size of the program could be a big deal. So what does System Restore not do? Well, System Restore is not a personal backup. It's not gonna restore any files that you have deleted or any personal data. So your documents and photos and all your personal files are gonna be completely safe regardless of how many times you do a System Restore. And because System Restore doesn't delete any personal files, it will also not delete any malware that you might have downloaded. So be aware of that. But if that malware that's on your system has affected your Windows in any way, running a System Restore will replace those Windows settings and put it back to the way it was before that malware ran. But don't just rely on System Restore to save you in those cases. It's rare that it will actually reverse a malware infection. You're much better off with a quality antivirus and anti-malware program to keep you safe. System Restore is also not a repair tool in the technical sense of the word. By itself, it doesn't fix up any startup issues in Windows. It doesn't scan your drive. It doesn't check for errors. It quite literally just replaces your Windows settings from when your computer was working with the current non-working settings you have right now. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. But if you're not an expert user, just running System Restore could be enough to get you back up and running. If you mistakenly clicked the wrong thing or accidentally made a change to your registry or something like that. Now, for some reason, I get comments almost daily about System Restore being a waste of time. And for a lot of situations, that's a fair assessment. System Restore doesn't always work the way it was designed. And sometimes, no matter how many times you try to run System Restore, it's not going to get your computer up and running. I myself have come across many situations where running System Restore either absolutely failed, wouldn't run at all, or just didn't do what it was designed to do. I've also encountered situations where I ran a System Restore for a non-working computer, and then suddenly the Windows desktop appeared, and then right on top of that, a message saying System Restore failed. Well, in those cases, even though the System Restore said it failed, it still accomplished the goal by getting me back into Windows. At that point, I'm calling it a win. I don't care what it says on my screen. But I still get comments all the time from people who absolutely refuse to use System Restore. And for the life of me, I don't understand why. Yes, it's true. System Restore doesn't always work. After all, it is a Microsoft product, and that's 
par for the course. But it certainly doesn't mean you shouldn't try it. What's the worst that can happen? But oftentimes it actually does work. So why in the world would you completely abandon a tool that's at your disposal to potentially help you get back into Windows on the off chance that it might not work? To me, logic says with Windows being as unstable and vulnerable to boot failures as it is, why would you not at least allow yourself the opportunity to try and restore your system? Instead, these people just leave System Restore off, and if they run into a problem with Windows not booting correctly, they just format and reload Windows. Yes, even though that will fix their problem, it seems like a lot of overkill for something that could potentially have been fixed in just a few minutes by running System Restore. Maybe these people have just had bad experiences with System Restore in the past, and I can completely understand that. But in my mind, that's the equivalent of not buying a specific brand of car because you had that same brand years ago and had nothing but problems with it. That logic really just doesn't compute for me. So enough of that. Let me show you how to enable System Restore and also create a restore point. So what you can do down in the search box is type restore. Click on create a restore point. As you can see here, it is off by default. So I'm going to click configure, turn it on. And then just move the drive space about 15-20% of the way. Click apply and OK. Now System Restore is on. I want to click create a restore point. I'm going to call it fresh install fully updated. And I'm just going to go ahead and click create. And that's going to create a system restore point that if for some reason something happens later, I can go back to. Again, that's off by default and I always enable it and create a restore point as soon as everything is up and running and updated. I'm going to click close and OK. So long story short, if you choose not to use System Restore, that's entirely your choice. It's your computer. It absolutely will not affect your PC performance in any way. The only downside is that you lose a little bit of hard drive space because you have to allocate a certain amount for your System Restore points, but that's it. There is literally no other downsides to enabling and using System Restore as it was designed. If it works, great. If it doesn't, you're no worse for wear. Professionally, I would never not enable System Restore on any computer I touch. Because at the end of the day, getting back up and running is paramount. And if System Restore, as flaky as it may be, works one time out of a hundred, then in my opinion, it was worth it. Especially when it is a totally free option and it only takes a minute of your time to enable. System Restore is available in normal Windows mode and also in safe mode. But if for some reason you have a machine that isn't booting at all, you should watch this video right here because I show you how to boot to the Windows troubleshooting menus, at which point you can then run System Restore outside the Windows environment. So thanks for letting me rant for a few minutes. Leave me a comment down below. I want to hear your thoughts on System Restore, regardless of what side of the fence you're on. Thanks so much for watching.